So some small progress there, but is it enough uh, help for the seamstresses of Bangladesh and what more could and should be done? Well, let's put those questions now to Bernd Hinzmann. He's a member of the Clean Clothes Campaign, an organization dedicated to improving working conditions and supporting the empowerment of workers in the global garment and sportswear industries. Well, it's good to have you with us. Uh, and as an expert on the field, uh, how would you describe the current working conditions in a Bangladeshi factory? What's changed in that one year? In a moment, not so much has changed. So the accords start to work and all the steps which are done are documented on the platform, web platform. So it is transparency uh, made and also the first uh, inspection of 10 factories mm -hmm. are public. So this is very important to see that also these factories which was inspected have many, many problems mm -hmm. in electricity, like electricity. In electricity in also in statistic, static and so on. And there's many things to do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. some factories are closed, but many work is done. And for example, also it's a need to more include in the implementation process the workers themselves. If you, if you just mention that, because how easy or how difficult is it actually to implement, let's say, European safety stand, uh, standards in Asian factories? It's possible. So the universities and also the static engineer bureaus are uh, in, involved in the process. So the knowledge is there and mm -hmm. also the GI set is uh, placed and um, uh, involved in this process. So the knowledge is there and the main problem is that the international brands must also give money okay. for the implementation. So okay. this, this is the point and uh, some of the supplier factories have said they have no money uh -huh. to yeah, implement the corrective action plan, Which for example. Which of course is one of the reasons why so many uh, Western manufacturers have outsourced in the first place in order to save money. They've uh, moved to yeah. low-cost uh, countries. And uh, let's uh, take a look at how much uh, cost or how the actual cost of a piece of clothing really is. Perhaps we take a t-shirt here, here in Germany would called, uh, cost 29 euros. Trade margin makes up more than 20 euros of the remaining 9 euros. Less than 3 go to the middlemen, suppliers, material and transport costs eat up more than 5 euros 50. So the seamstress, the person making the t-shirt, ends up with a mere 18 cents. That is quite shocking to us at least. Uh, is it a fair salary? How could this be a fair salary? No, it isn't fair. It's clearly <clears throat> cause this kind of cost compensation leads also to this disastrous health and safety standards in Bangladesh, for mm -hmm. example, but also in other countries like Cambodia. And the wages in this countries, so the official minimum wages are the most competition points between different countries and all these international brands make their own fr profit of this uh, reality. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, is a need of change also in the calculation mm -hmm. system of the international brands, because okay. they have really to calculate the cost of the wage which have, uh, or which called a living wage or a decent wage. Okay. That is the need to do. Okay. So uh, still a lot to do there, a lot of that's, uh, that's unfairness true. there. Bernd Hensmann, thank you very much for being here with us today. Thanks to be here.